welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming another Will I Buy It video. I hope you guys are enjoying this series on my channel. This was originally created by Samantha March here on YouTube. I will go ahead and leave her channel down below. And she was inspired by drag queen Kimberly Clark, who does the anti haul series. Now, of course, anti hauls have taken off, and so have Will I Buy It videos, but I just like the Will I Buy It series because Samantha March does it weekly and we don't get to see Kimberly Clark enough. But anyway, I'm sure you guys all know what I'm talking about, but let's get into some of the new launches coming up and whether I'm planning on purchasing them. Also, if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe down below. It really helps me out. Join the family. I usually upload a couple of times a week. Usually I try to go every other day, so you always get new content from me. And if that interests you, definitely join the family. I'm also planning on doing a giveaway here soon, so if you haven't um, heard about that, definitely check out some of my other videos, maybe like my video reviewing the Jaclyn Hill palette. If it's not up yet, it's coming, so definitely check that out. Subscribe, you will get notified. And without further blabbering, let's talk about some shit I am not planning on buying. So I like to just go on Trend Moods page because I feel like she has all the latest updates. And one that has been floating around the internet recently are the new ABH liquid highlighters. Now, I'm not going to lie, the colors look amazing, but I need another highlighter like I need a hole in my freaking head. You guys, the highlighter craze is not slowing down by any means. You know, Anastasia Beverly Hills just adding one more thing that I don't need to the universe. It looks beautiful. There are four shades from the looks of it, but I just am not a fan of liquid highlighters, guys. I do have two of the Cover FX custom cover drops and I rarely use them. The most I use them is when I put them into my lotion and I honestly don't think it, I mean, does that amazing of a job at making me glow. I love to put them on my cheekbones as well, but I really prefer powder highlights, so I'm definitely staying away from those liquid highlighters. Next is something everyone's been buzzing about are these new Lorac sunset palettes. Um, they're doing like a mountain sunset, the desert sunset, and the ocean sunset, which is like, do we really need all those palettes? Probably not, but you know, it's just a nice way for Lorac to make some extra money because of course they're not just selling you one palette, they're selling you three and you're probably gonna buy all three because Let's be real, we're makeup junkies. I really like the desert one and the ocean one. The mountain one is a little too cool tone for me. Personally, you guys know I struggle with Lorac eyeshadows. I used to be a huge fan of the brand. Fell out of love of the Pro Shadow formula, so I rarely ever buy their palettes. The last one I tried was Pirates of the Caribbean palette and I really hated that one. I also do have the Beauty and the Beast palette and the Ladies That Like to Brunch palette. I've been meaning to do first impressions of those and I've just been slacking because there's not enough time in the day, guys. But anyway, so I think I'm going to be passing on the Sunset series. I may pick one up if it comes to Ulta, but I don't want to order on their website in case they don't accept returns. I really don't want to get stuck with a palette I don't like. Next, I'm so excited for this. If this video goes up before Thursday, then they're not out yet, but if it goes up after Thursday, this collection is probably out and sold out. This is the ColourPop Rose Collection, or the Karuchi, you know, round three, and they're coming out with a highlighter, bronzer, blush palette, as well as an eyeshadow palette. I just filmed a review comparing the ColourPop Yes Please palette, the Denona Sunset palette, and their eyeshadows, their pressed eyeshadows have been killing it for me. I'm so, so impressed with that collection, the Yes Please palette and the I Love Sarah Heat collection that I just want all the ColourPop single shadows. But I'm going to get this palette because it looks amazing. I love the shades. Kind of gives me like Queen of Heart palette vibes mixed with like a million other palettes. But I love the packaging. The pink is just perfect and I'm going to need that. So I will be buying that palette if I'm lucky enough to get my hands on it. Um, looks like they're gonna be restocking the Jaclyn Hill palette, so if you guys haven't gotten your hands on that, I um, did manage to get my hands on a palette or um, two, so I will be reviewing that shortly. Next, let's see here. I don't know why makeup, like makeup Instagram accounts talk about Kylie 
like somehow she's relevant. It all started with Dizzy collabing with Key and it was kind of a stretch but you know these Instagram accounts and everyone else will go where the money is. So of course they have to talk about Kylie's collab with Key which has nothing to do with makeup. I don't know how she's relevant in this situation right now but I won't be buying any of her sunglasses. I didn't think they were very nice so whatever. Next is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Glimmer Palette. Honestly, I don't have the matte palette and I don't really want the Glimmer Palette, but I did pick it up because I want to review it for you guys. I'm just very curious what it's going to feel like and I just can't imagine this palette being any good with it all being shimmer shades. I feel like you have to always pair a shimmer palette with a matte palette, so... Yeah, I don't know. I'm interested in trying it out and seeing what I think. Personally, I do think she has really good glimmer, shimmer shadows. So I'll probably like it, but I just don't understand why she decided to do an all matte and an all shimmer. I feel like you were almost compelled to buy both, which is like, really? Like, that's almost $100 in eyeshadow, and it's the same colors. So it's kind of like the 35 matte and the 35 metallic. Um, but those palettes are a lot cheaper, so those are my Morphe in case you're wondering. I did pick these up. I'm such a sucker. The Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighters. They're only $4.99, and they came up with four new shades, and of course I was like, oh, they're so affordable. Let me just get some of those, so I did, which is terrible. I won't be buying the Huda X Tweezer Man collab. Like, what a freaking waste of money to spend $65 on a fucking tweezer and like some eyebrow like scissors and like just fuck her. Like I literally just think like everything Huda touches turns into an overpriced oversell. But after saying all of that, I do really like this summer pa like highlighter palette. I do like that purple, but I won't be buying it because I refuse to buy any of her products and I do love like the bright lipstick shades she has picked out for summer, but I just think it's so, so overpriced. I skipped out on all the uh, Born This Way stuff that came out, like the Born This Way powder, I skipped that. The Too Faced Hangover Primer Spray, I skipped that because I don't like the Hangover Primer, so I highly doubt I'm gonna like the Hangover Priming Spray, so I won't be picking up any of that stuff. Next thing I'm not getting is this collab between Alta and Melissa Michelle. I used to watch her YouTube videos quite a bit back in the day, but she is like an old, she's not older, but she's like a mom with two kids, and I just, I just didn't like her channel. I didn't really like connect with her that much, so I stopped watching her channel. And those colors just don't speak to me, so I'm not planning on getting that. The Violet Voss and Nicole Concilio palette. I was really contemplating it, but after a lot of contemplating, I decided it looked a lot like a lot of the other palettes I have. And I just can't support her. Like, I know a lot of YouTubers get, like, filler and lip plumper and stuff like that, but she just looks so fake to me. Like, her lips are so big, and she's like so tiny and she just looks like she's had a lot of work done now i could be wrong don't get me wrong i could be totally off but just for me it's like i can't really connect with you you don't seem like a real person so therefore i'm not going to be supporting you or any of your social media <laughs> endeavors um i really wanted these nars power matte lip pigments i just thought they looked beautiful i love the shades i love the brand nars I don't really have a lot of their lip products. I have one lip gloss and one NARS Audacious lipstick. Their shit is expensive, so if I ever purchase from them, it's usually like a foundation or like their Casino Bronzer is one of my favorites. Um, those would be my most repurchased items from them, but um, yeah, I really want to try their liquid lipstick. Um, I missed out on the ColourPop Crystal Collection, but I'm kind of glad I did because I didn't really think any of that was worth the money. And then I think these Bite lipsticks are so beautiful. They're neon collection, but I will never wear those. I purchased the Lorac Mega Pro 3 when it originally came out. I don't know if I reviewed it on my channel. I honestly can't remember. I may have. If I did, I will link it right here so you guys can check it out. But uh, I wouldn't buy it. I, I'm just so over Lorac. And the Jeffree Star highlighter in Eclipse came back in stock and I know they will be doing a restock in August as well. I haven't reviewed that collection yet guys but honestly 
ooh, that highlighter is not good. Like, I was so excited to try it, but I just, oh, it's not good. It's not as pigmented as his other highlighters. And I've just generally fallen out of love with the Jeffree Star brand, to be honest. So, I don't know. I wouldn't get it if I was on a budget and you know, really trying to think of what to spend my money on. I did do a full-on swatch video on the Sephora Pro palettes. Um, so I will link it up above. They are excellent so far. It's actually the eyeshadow I used to create this look today. So I will be doing full reviews on the Warmth and the Editorial palette. I didn't pick up the Cool palette because I am just not a cool tone kind of human. But yeah, I really like those palettes, so I definitely did buy it. I am talking about some things that are a little bit older, at least in the makeup world, um, but I just wanted to give you guys my honest opinion on if I will be picking up some of the new launches, some of the things that are coming up. If you guys see any you know, products that I should feature in this video series, definitely go ahead and tag me on Instagram at Karen Harris Makeup. That is the best way to get a hold of me, or you guys can DM me as well. I love making new YouTube friends. so. That is it for my video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and bye.